It used to be art was in a box. It was a painting. It was in a gallery. And it's not really that way anymore. What has emerged is the, is the grassroots art. Things are changing. There's an excitement about it. Art has become something that's very shareable and viral. The vibrancy that, that has, you know, just came out over the last nine months has been incredible. Our whole scene is extremely rich in artists of all types. We have painters, we have writers, we have poets, we have sculptors, we have photographers. Yeah, people don't really think of Hampton Roads as a place where artists gather. But it's got a surprising amount of community just below the surface. I'm gonna Hampton Roads has a lot of great talent here, and it's interesting how there's at various level. There's tons of these kind of people that are your citizen scientists, your backyard artists, your artisans that come together to create. The whole 757 area, as far as the scene, is, is something going on every night of the week. A lot of people just don't know. Creative people gravitate towards other creative people. You know, it's about exposure, you know. We want to bring recognition to this area. It's a family. That's that's really the only way I can put it. I'm gonna Rose area isn't an area like a DC, it isn't an area like a New York. So it may seem small, but actually the community is rather big. It's a really fascinating region for kind of unexpected art, I think, to happen. We call ourselves the creative class, but it's not money, and it's not any one age, and it's not one race. It's really just people that like to do and create. Community is everything to the area. So we look at Hampton Roads and what we offer each other. When you see all these people growing, making, and creating things, that raises everybody. And that really gives us a great opportunity to transform not just individuals or kids or retirees or all these people in the middle, but transform just the communities that we live in as well. That just shows the power of the scene.